sewing a buttonhole on your sewing machine. The first thing we want to do is mark our buttonhole on the right side of our garment. We are going to sew a buttonhole on the waistband of a skirt and we're going to mark that buttonhole right in the middle of the waistband just like that to denote our buttonhole placement next thing we're going to do is to change our general purpose foot to a buttonhole foot the buttonhole foot is very unique it's a long foot usually either plastic or plastic and metal or all metal there is the stitching portion on the forward end of the buttonhole foot and then there is a button carriage on the very end of this buttonhole foot that actually pushes out and opens up the buttonhole carriage or I should say the button carriage holds the button in place and then you can fasten the carriage around the button. Make sure it is fastened securely and pushed together. The size of the buttonhole will be determined by the size of the button in the carriage. Most of the buttonhole feet of this style only allow you to stitch a buttonhole an inch long. So if you've got a button that's bigger than an inch in diameter, you may have to use an alternative method to stitch that button. So once we have removed our general purpose foot, we will go ahead and place the buttonhole foot on our machine. And one thing I normally like to do is take the tail of thread and place it underneath the foot and then pull it to the back. This will prevent this tail of thread from getting caught up into the buttonhole as the, the machine starts to stitch it. The next thing you want to do is select your buttonhole type. We're just going to make a regular shirt button hole, so we will go ahead and choose that on our selection pad. Then we will pull the buttonhole lever located behind your needle and behind the needle threader. And we're going to pull that down and be sure you pull it all the way down and behind this portion of the buttonhole foot. It needs to be behind the foot to actually make the stitch. And you'll see on most machines it will show a buttonhole um, icon on that lever. Then we can place our garment with the buttonhole marking centered right underneath the, the forward guide on the buttonhole foot. Then we can move it up to where we see the end of our buttonhole mark right in the window below the needle and the win in the window on the buttonhole foot. The button, uh, the automatic buttonhole um, feature on most machines will start to stitch the button going backwards on the left side. Then it will come back down and stitch the bar tack, go back up, stitch the bar tack, and then go back down on the, the right side to complete the button. These types of machines have the feature called the one-step button, automatic buttonhole. And it's done it all in one step. So we just want to review. We have our 
buttonhole marking on our garment. We have our selection made for a buttonhole. We have the buttonhole engagement lever pulled all the way down and behind the buttonhole uh, stopper. And we have our fabric underneath and correctly aligned underneath the foot. So we're now going to lower our presser foot and we will start stitching. And as you will see, it will, the machine will start to stitch going backwards on the left side of the button. Once it is complete, it will slow down and stop automatically. Then you can then cut your threads. If you do not have an automatic thread cutter, you will simply pull your fabric from underneath the presser foot and go ahead and cut away the long tails of thread. And we have our buttonhole. The, the length of the buttonhole, again, is automatically determined by the size of the button we placed in the carriage at the back of the buttonhole foot. Okay. We cut away our long tails of thread, and then to open the button, you can use a seam ripper. I generally like to open the buttonhole by using scissors. So I fold the button in half, matching up the two bar tacks at each end. And then I take my scissors and I cut a slit right in the middle. And once I have that slit, I can then take my smaller scissors and cut to just to the bar tacks on each side. The size of a button is the size of the uh, size of the buttonhole is the size of the button plus one eighth of an inch for ease to push the button through. So we'll continue to, to cut that open. And then on the other side as well. And there's your buttonhole. And there you go. And you can clean up the extraneous threads if you don't have a clean cut just by trimming away.